Brain rule number nine, sensory integration. Stimulate more of the senses. Watch this experiment. It's called the McGurk effect. Ba, 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 ba. What do you think he's saying? If you think he's saying da, 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 you are in the grand majority. But now, close your eyes and listen instead of watching. Ba, 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 ba. The voice is saying ba, ba, ba. Now, let's replay it without the sound. Yes, it's true. His lips are saying ga, ga, ga. So how is it that when the lips are saying ga, 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 and the sound says ba, 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 that our brains read da, da, da? The McGurk effect. It's an example of an auditory illusion. It's a great way to show that the accurate perception of information can involve the participation of more than one sensory system, in this case, vision with sound. We call it multimodal perception. The McGurk effect, it's a terrific example of the fact that the senses did not evolve in isolation from each other, but actually work together to help us perceive our world. When multiple senses are stimulated simultaneously, the brain begins to experience an information-rich learning experience and laps it up like ice cream. It encodes more information per unit time, and it remembers that information better, too. For instance, smell is unusually effective at evoking memory, especially emotional memory. If you're tested on the details of a movie while the smell of popcorn is wafted into the air, you'll remember 10 to 50% more. The perfect business example involves Starbucks. When I used to walk into Starbucks, the first thing I smelled was coffee. They made sure their employees didn't wear perfume or cologne when they're working because they didn't want it to overwhelm the coffee smell. They made sure the only thing you smelled was coffee. And then they introduced breakfast food. Melissa Allison covers Starbucks for the Seattle Times. In the past couple of years, Starbucks has started selling breakfast sandwiches in its stores. But it took many years for them to get to the point of actually rolling it out across their stores because they couldn't find the right oven for it. The ovens they were using were putting off too much um, breakfast sandwich smell and they were afraid that was overwhelming the smell of the coffee. In 2007, Howard Schultz, the chairman of the company, wrote a memo to his top executive saying that he was concerned that many things had changed in their stores, including the aroma. He wrote that flavor-locked bags may have kept the coffee smell from being dominant in their stores. It was such a big deal that, that there were huge headlines. Advertising Age even had one that said Starbucks smells the death of its brand experience. Even though Starbucks has branched out into other areas, they have always said that coffee is their main business. As long as that's the case, they're going to have to take pains to make sure the smell of coffee is in their stores.